Walking through the OR doors for the first time in clinicals was a little nauseating with fear and trepidation. I had no idea what I was doing or what my role was. You know what to expect. You have sweaty palms, totally different than anything we learned in nursing. You think you know an airway, and you don't really know an airway. It's very chaotic. It's like a deer in front of the headlights. I was intimidated by all of my surroundings first couple days that you're just like, well, here we go. I was a nurse for about five years in the ER, and then I decided that I wanted to do something different. I knew that I wasn't going to be satisfied with bedside nursing. Nursing itself is very challenging, especially ICU. But then you reach a point where you want to continue, and anesthesia kind of takes you to that next level. I think the field of anesthesia is really interesting. Nobody outside of our field knows exactly what we do. Anesthesia, I think, is a perfect blend of art and a science. It kind of incorporates the nursing side of caring for patients and the physiology side of medicine. It also gives you the opportunity to focus on just one patient at a time. No matter who I talk to, everyone enjoyed anesthesia. After being exposed to the anesthesia side of it, I just fell in love. In the ER, I'd seen them intubate people that came in. It's hands-on experience. I'm very machine-oriented. I love procedures. And everything all together just made me realize that it would be a really good profession to get into. One of the most difficult times I've had while being in school is adapting to time management. Just studying again after not studying for six years. Starting clinicals and a full class load, I think our stress levels were all through the roof. You're trying to get your routine down, you're trying to figure out when you can study, when you shouldn't study. You might actually be lucky and get eight hours of sleep. Every week we had a test. Academic, book work, uh, you're in class a lot, you're taking a lot of tests, you're being constantly evaluated. It's like a roller coaster. The first couple days in the OR were humbling and it was hard to start off being so bad at what we did. It was more than what I could have anticipated, even if I would have known more about school or more about what to expect. A typical day starting off in the OR means an early day. Wake up around 4.30, get ready, drive to clinicals, I try to get to the OR about 6. Head straight to the room, check your machine. You have your emergency drugs ready. You don't want to walk in there and your suction's not ready or, or your mask isn't there. When that's done, then you go see your patient. It's the only 15 minutes that you have with the patient before you go back. It's a time to make them at ease. Alleviate any fears they might have. Once your case starts, you go back, put them to sleep, intubate them. You're taking vitals, you're treating blood pressure, you're giving pain medications. When you're thinking about extubation and getting the patient to the PACU and making sure that they're responsive to you, that their pain is well controlled. Then you go back and see your next patient. And that happens time and time again throughout the day. I chose Florida Hospital of Health Sciences because of the quality education that they offered. I thought there was a lot of diversity of the hospitals we could work at. 
I like their philosophy extending the healing ministry of Christ. We have an array of simulation equipment in our lab where students can get hands-on on different technical skills. The program is a 28-month program. It's a long stretch. It's very rigorous. You know, make sure that you're well-balanced. You must have the kinds of grades that will allow you to be competitive. The mission of the program at Florida Hospital College is to train, educate, and develop leaders in nursing anesthesia. The mission is very clear, very concise. It is to create a cadre of healthcare employees who understand that healthcare is a part of one's ministry in life. It's nice to be able to still be in an environment where you can nurture your spiritual self while learning anesthesia. We want to make sure that every student gets the kind of education and the quality of education that will make them a great practitioner. I think our students will graduate with the best experience in the nation. I think the training you get at Florida Hospital College is one of the best training you'll get. It's a very rewarding program. You feel good about the satisfaction that you've put the hard work in, now you're starting to see results from that. You're so close-knit and you have to work together. They're going through this with me and I can't let anybody down. Keep focused, keep turning back to your goal. Every day someone reminds you that you're one step closer to finishing. You have a year to go, you have six months to go, you have two months to go. You begin to see, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. And all of a sudden tears has gone by like that. And realizing that, oh, I can do this. I'm going to finish. Thank you.